Oh, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Winter has tried to make a return, finally. We got a little coating of snow, nothing significant, but you can kind of see some spotty white out here. And the temperatures have finally started to get colder. So the ground is starting to freeze up a little bit, which is nice. It makes getting around out here easier. But I'm headed out. I got the chainsaw with me. I'm gonna go do a little bit of trail work. Try to clean up after that big windstorm that we had about two weeks ago. Uh, there's a lot of trees down and just hoping to get it cleaned up a little bit. There's a lot of this out here. Big hemlock came down in that windstorm. Thankfully this one missed the trail. So stuff like that doesn't need attention right away. The ground was so wet and not frozen during that windstorm that there's a lot of stuff like this too. Another hemlock right here that was completely uprooted because of how wet it is. Pretty crazy. There's one section out here where there's so many trees down you almost can't even find the trail. I'm going to keep heading out a little further. And then I'll start getting some cleanup done. Happy New Year to everyone as well. It's January 1st today. It's about 22, 23 degrees Fahrenheit. One o'clock in the afternoon. It's supposed to be mostly sunny today, but as you can see, it's pretty cloudy. We've been stuck in a rut with bad weather and cloudiness. So even the days that they call for sun have been pretty much socked in clouds. We even saw a little flurry action this morning too, a little bit of light snow showers, nothing, nothing to accumulate, but definitely different than the forecast was calling for. So there's a lot of this little kind of stuff everywhere, which is easy to deal with. A lot of that I can just move out of the way by hand. So I'm gonna do what I can to clean as much of that up as I can along this trail. And I've got the chainsaw for anything I need it for. All right guys, so this is what we're dealing with in some of the harder hit areas. This is usually a trail right here. Typically looks just like this one. As you can see, it's quite a mess. And it goes like this as far down as you can see and beyond. A lot of big trees down in this area. A mix of popple and pine 
some maple, pretty much everything. So this is gonna be a lot of work cleaning this up. This is gonna be weeks. But I just came up through here, doing a little touch up cleaning, finished one trail. I think I'm gonna head up this way because it's a little less daunting than what I just showed you. There's still quite a bit up this way too, but we'll save that other section for more hands to make lighter work. Another big pine split in half right here. Right at the base, right across the trail here. And then a red maple split in half up there. I already did a bunch of cleanup around here. There's one tree out of the trail there, but then there's that one leaning, which I left for now. But a lot of work. Another one down there. We'll keep moving along. <laughs>
All right, so we got this big one freed open. We can get through the trail now. That was a big pine. I have an 18 inch bar on that saw and I probably made it, I'd say maybe three quarters of the way through from one side, had to finish it on the other side. So this tree's at least 22 inches in diameter, probably closer to, I'd say probably closer to 24 or 25. And there's still half of it standing. Pretty amazing. I'm gonna keep poking up through the trail here. Starting to make some good headway. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I'm pretty beat. I've been working out here for a couple hours. Sorry, I didn't get more footage of the chainsaw in action. I left my tripod at the house, so I didn't really have a good way of mounting my camera while I was doing some work. But I just wanted to get out here, do a little cleanup. It's always a good day in the woods, no matter what you're doing. Thanks for watching, guys. Now would be a great chance if you haven't, um, please like and subscribe um, if you like content like this. Um, thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.